What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here back to preview the West Ham United versus Aston Villa match happening this Tuesday night at the Bowling Ground or Upton Park. Whatever you want to call it, it works for me. This is going to be the first ever dual preview, so you're going to have a West Ham fan thoughts after mine. Let me know how you like that. If you enjoy, if you want to see more of that, leave that in the comments below. Like the video, share it around. Let's get some support on this video. So let's go with some stats. How have West Ham done in their last six? They have three wins two draws and a loss, I believe it is, yep, and they have 11 goals and only conceded seven in the last six matches, so just over a goal, a game ratio for conceding goals. Villa, on the other hand, we've won a game, yes, in our last six. We have three draws and two losses, only scoring four, which is a big, huge problem for us considering Kozak and Gasset to both be out, meaning Ayu's probably going to be up top. So, of course, with that, we've only conceded seven. So we've conceded less. I mean, defensively, over the really last three games or four games, I'd say, we've def definitely tightened up. And that's great to see. I think we've had a select back four. And to give some slack to Villa and cut some slack finally, I wouldn't take anything out of the 4-0 City loss in the FA Cup. Rotate it side. I don't think you're going to see Mika Richards coming at a center back in this game. He's probably going to play right back. I don't know what the whole Debushi deal is, if that's even confirmed or not. Hopefully I'll get something on the channel later, but I mean, Richards at right back, Akore, Lescott, and of course Zoko at left back. That's our setback for. If anything else comes in, I don't necessarily agree with it. That's not our strongest option. So let's take a flashback. Earlier in the season, one all Villa Park. Yes, we got a point against them. Actually, a lot of these games between West Ham and Villa are literally nil-nils, or there's just a one-goal difference. There's not much in between these teams when I've looked at the last, I don't know, 30 or so in the Premier League history. But looking at it, with Dimitri Pai in the team, it's not the team we're going to be faced earlier in the season. My stress level without him in this team was less. With him in the team, you can't even see it. It's through the roof. I mean, the guy can open up a game. He can score a hat-trick. He's great on the ball. He's great at set pieces. He's great at freaking everything. I mean... For West Ham, I'm not saying West Ham's a bad club by any means, but it's just the buying power and the attractiveness of the Premier League to get someone like that at West Ham. Not slating them off in the slightest, but it shows how teams are improving. And obviously, we're dropping down because we didn't do that. But I don't know how to really give people confidence in this game. I mean, we have to play well defensively. is probably going to be up top. I mean, who else are we going to play if Kozak and Gustet's hurt? So we're probably going to look with a 4-3-3, and I'm saying this because there's not going to be any pick the team this week. I have another video going out with another West, fan, uh, West Ham fan channel, hopefully on Monday. So hopefully keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline for Villa. I have to keep the positivity, so West Ham fans, slate me if you want. But I'm going to go 2-1 Villa to keep the faith. Ayu, Jordan Ayu double, and I'll give Pai a goal because I can just see it happening. The guy can break open a game nab a quick goal and that's what's going to happen in this game so hopefully three points for Villa now let's turn it over to a West Ham fan peace out yes yes villains uh, I was asked to do my side this is the uh, the enemy if you like for the uh, for the Tuesday night game uh, you obviously you're coming to Upton Park I just thought I'd give basically a quick preview um, I'm Jay from Hammer and Talk I do a, a YouTube channel all on West Ham and stuff I just want to speak about the game really really quickly and um, I think the first thing I want to speak about is well, I don't really want to dwell on it too long, but it's obviously the Aston Villa relegation situation. I'm sure there's not much I can speak about that you already don't know the situation you're doing. I just want to say from the from the from the West Ham fan side that we think it's actually really sad that you're in this situation, and uh, we we just think that you've been in there so long. I'm speaking on behalf of like pretty much 99 percent of the West Ham community that I just think that you know it's, it's a real shame because you've been in the top five for so long, and it really seems realistic that you could be going down. Uh, on a light note, it seems like um, you know you're starting to get a bit more solid now because you haven't lost in the last three league games. So you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, you can establish your you know your your top flight status. But I really think you are up against it this season. I, I can't see it happening. Um, talking about the game though, I think as a West Ham fan, the person that I fear the most is not your top goal scorer, uh, Sinclair. It's Au for me personally. Um, I think that guy can just pull magic out like that, and you know he's done it. He's done it a few times already for you lot uh, this season. So you know it wouldn't surprise me if he does it at West Ham. It's just typical, you know that. No offense, but the bottom league club, the, the club that we're expected to be, and on paper we should be, 
would pull something special out and, and, and make some kind of upset. You know, an upset would be any kind of dropping points, to be honest with you. I think even if we was to draw, I think it would be lost points for us, given like the league that the, the start that we've had to this league and the way we've just progressed and, and stayed really consistent. So yeah, I just I just I just really fear for that AU. Obviously you've got Sinclair running that wing as well, which is dangerous as but I just I don't know, I just <clears throat> I just fear for AU. I think uh, obviously the the battle for me personally is going to be if you can stop Dimitri Payet uh, from playing. It, it's been proven before that if you if you smother Payet, you pretty much close West Ham down. And, I, and you know I hope this don't get out to anyone you know with some with some influence in the actual Western Villa situation. But I think if you do do that, we ain't going to do it. No, we ain't we ain't going to play. And that is what you want. You do not want Payet spreading those thirty yard passes going across. Um, We've got a bit of a situation with the strikers, you know, when we've got um, we've got a lot of our strikers out and we've got Valencia that's obviously, you know, he's, he's, he's a little bit hit and miss. He's, he's come to recent form, like he scored a couple of two and twos, so that's pretty good. So, you know, it's a little bit in that. But the main thing is, is that that holding position in, in the diamond, the top of the diamond, if you like. We ain't actually playing a diamond, I don't think. I don't think we're going to play Alex Song. I don't know if we're going to play three in the middle or as a defensive mid. The reason why I think we should play a defensive mid with Song is because of your boy, Sinclair. I think he's got a lot of pace down that wing and I think he can be real integral to use, like, like just making clear-cut opportunities. So I really hope we close you down a lot. Um, I just think in general that this should be a win. I'm sorry to say it, people. I really am. It sounds so bad. I'm coming to a journal and I'm just saying we should be used, but... You've got to understand that the, the difference of, you know, the way it's played out throughout the league with you and with us, we are on such a different level and we're, 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 just reach, we're just trying to get bigger and bigger and reach higher and higher. And it seems like with what's happened with you, you know, getting rid of your best players and not replacing them with either the same quality or more. You know, it just seems like the chairman ain't really helping you out. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you already know this and you covered it all or everything, but it's, I mean, it's, I'm just saying it from, from the West Ham thing from our side that we do see the problem and we just hope that you know we you do keep your your, your top flight status all right and um, i'm going to go for a prediction and i'm just going to go by on paper what i think it should be i really think it should be probably a 3-1 victory for us at west ham uh, upton park but should you shut down pay it i believe it could be another nil nil draw after we just come off a nil nil draw with Liverpool uh, in the FA Cup so I think it could be another nil nil should you shut pay it down if you just flood flood and just basically just stop us from playing so yeah that's my predictions um, be kind to me people I'm just giving my honest opinion um, check me out over at my channel uh, Hammer and Talk just type it in YouTube it should come up uh, if you want to see any, anything West Ham I'm not sure you do but you know you never know you might you might like it alright Anyway, people, I'm off. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe to talk to uh, talk Aston Villa. You know the geezer's doing as hard as he can. Keep publishing, uh, put, putting out as many videos as he can. He's publishing a lot of stuff for you lot. So uh, you know, I mean, if anyone's new to this to this you know video or something, and you ain't been on this channel before, uh, you know, I do implore you to subscribe. The guy puts in so much work. Anyway, people, I'm gone. I really hope it's a good game. I hope there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Most importantly, all right, and I'll see you later.